Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at threading on the MCO Compact 5 lathe. A couple of important no notes to make here. First of all, the lowest speed on this particular lathe is 250 RPM. That's uh, pretty darn high, and as you'll see, that has ramifications. In order to cut threads on the MCO Compact 5 lathe, first thing you have to do is read the instructions. <laughs> um, it's actually pretty straightforward. There's a, a, a series of uh, threading gears, of course, that go on here. Uh, these are just little spacer things. And uh, you can change all of these. This is kind of an interesting little arrangement here. These little sets of gears come off. It's not too complicated once you figure it out. Um, so you got a gear, gear back here and gear there. One of these might be driven, the other one might be following, etc. You get the idea. So this goes back on here, and there's the little T-nut thing that goes back in here. Uh, I can't do it backwards, but you can get the idea. You just set this in here, that screws on there, arrange the gears and so forth. Uh, one other thing, this banjo, you're going to have to rearrange the banjo when all that gets done. So the banjo just loosens right there, tighten it back up. Pretty easy, really, to figure out the gear train. And you got a, a very, very wide selection of possible threads. Uh, there are a lot of them here on the front. There are even more in the manual that are mentioned that you can do. That's one part of the whole operation. Okay, I've got my gear train all set up. And normally I would close this, but just to show you what's going on in here, I'm going to turn this on. You can see what's happening there. I've got this at the lowest speed. But even then, it's pretty darn fast. This is the dog clutch. So... You'll notice that all this stuff's turning in here. Nothing's happening over here until I engage this. And I engage this and get that locked in. All of a sudden, this thing is flipping right along. You can see it moving, I'm sure. Okay, so that's how you uh, work all of that. What you're supposed to do for threading gears is to engage this and leave it engaged for the whole thread cutting process. Well, engaged in threading, we'll be doing several things here. We'll be operating the compound. This is normally set at about 30 degrees or so. It doesn't have to be real precise, but it's nice if it's about that. This has to be a 60 degree um, tool. And we're going to set this thing at zero and bring this in and touch it. And then we're going to advance this thing every time. We're going to be backing out. Coming back, advancing in, then turning this in a little bit more to take a little more cut, then going like that. I'm not going to do anything real substantial here, but that's the whole basic process of thread cut cutting. This is how you're supposed to cut threads on this thing according to the instructions. Let's give it a try. I've already made one light pass. Let's advance this a little bit. Give it another pass. Now you have to turn it off just in time so you don't run into anything over here. And you back it off. Doesn't uh, slow down very fast. Advance the compound a little bit. Give it another cut. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, man, I just barely had enough room to get back there. I suppose with practice you could get good at this. Let's advance this just a little bit. Well, 
Well, it is cutting threads. Uh, <laughs> maybe a, a more skilled machinist could do this. I hate it. I just really don't like it. Trying to turn things at this speed and so forth. It's horrible. So uh, I won't be doing this anymore. In order to cut threads on this Emco Compact 5 lathe, um, I've decided that 250 RPM is just too fast for me. Maybe I'm just an old doofus, but it, I can't do it. I don't like that. And I have much more control if I can hand turn this thing. I'll be able to cut threads, you know, with light cuts. I can cut steel, I'm sure. I built a crank device here so I can hand turn the lathe. I can use all the gearing system and so forth. This hand crank system is nothing. It's just a spacer here, a hunk of aluminum, a knob, threaded rod. The trickiest part probably is this little bit up this here. This has got to be an MT2 taper. Doesn't even have to be real precise, but something close. It's got to slide in there really well so that you can still get the lathe chuck on the front. And now we put this, whoops, let's close the door. I've already got the thread gears set up. So I'll put my little gizmo in there. And of course all this stuff has to be spaced properly. You're going to need some space back here to turn the crank. So it's not crucial how big that is really, as long as it's big enough. Okay, now to put the lathe chuck back on, because I had to take it off to, to put that thing in, put the lathe chuck back on and we'll give it another try. Okay, so now I've got the dog clutch engaged. I'm just driving this by hand now. It's essentially the same process except I have much more control over it. So I've got to get my... And you can see I've cut myself a little shoulder there. No big deal, just enough to give me some room. Alright, so let's uh, take the first cut. Yeah, that wasn't much of a cut, so let's go back and give it a little bit more. It's a bit more of a chore to crank this thing back and forth, but you have a lot more control. I think I won't use oil just to, if I can, I'll avoid using oil to keep it clear what's happening. I can stop right there. Not a problem. I don't have to I don't have to have, you know, half an inch of extra over there. easy and I can stop exactly where I want to stop I hope you've enjoyed having a look at threading on the MCO Compact 5 thank you for watching